Today we're going to take a first look and unbox a PLC Next Starter Pack from Phoenix Contact. And the first thing we'll do here is let me zoom in on the product label. You can see I've already started opening the box, but I want to uh, look at the product label here before we completely open the starter kit. And you can see this is a PLC Next Technology Starter Kit, part number or order number 1188165. So if you decide you want to pick one up, that's what you would get. And let's go ahead and zoom out now and see what's in this box here. So I'll start by cutting it open. And uh, so we get some different stuff in here. We get some packaging, Put that one side. And what is this? This is a mean, well, I believe it's a power supply. We'll open that in just a minute. But I know those folks from their power supplies. We also have some power plug adapters. So depending on where you are in the world, you would use the right power plug adapter. Okay. We also have this, uh, looks like a one meter patch cable. So this will go uh, from your computer right to the PLC. Okay. Also known as a standard ethernet cable. And now we, let's see if we can get this guy out of the box. Okay. So we'll put him, that's the starter kit. We'll put him on the side. He has some nice rubbery feet. I felt that as I put it down. And uh, the best coder ever. <laughs> Is that you? Um, it's not me. But in any case, all right, so let's get rid of the box. And uh, although I do love coding, I've been doing it since I was like 11 when I got my VIC-20 back in the day. Okay, let's take a look and see what's in here. What do we got? Okay, in this beautiful bag here, we have, oh, look at this, some nice stickers. Oh, I, don't, I don't know where I'm going to put these, but um, very cool. I love that. I love it when uh, vendors put uh, good, cool stuff in there like that. We also have this, I am PLC Next. It's a hashtag there. Let's see if we can zoom in on this guy. What is she saying? Okay. You can see there are a lot of good information. There's a community. Um, they have all around the PLC Next. If you caught the uh, PLC Next um, podcast, you would know all about that. So I haven't checked it out yet because um, uh, I haven't started programming it yet. So there hasn't been a need to. Now this looks like the feet. So these just look like a couple of blocks with uh, a slanted uh, cut in them. So that's nice. And this is a Profi Cloud credit don't know what that is i know we talked about that a little bit on the um on the podcast but very cool very cool i got a profi cloud credit now i think i think setting this up is going to be super easy right and um we'll just try here real quick because then i want to lay it down and on the table so we can take a look at it but for the front cam but a bing whoops almost had me there there we go. I mean, you can't get much easier than that, can you? Okay, so let's take it out of the stand. That's a great little, simple little way to do a stand. We'll take a look at the back, and these are the rubber feet I could feel when I put it down. Well, it looks like uh, this guy's come off. We'll just push it down. You can see it's pre-wired, though. All right, what is it pre-wired to? Well, let's take a look. Yeah, I love those feet. As a matter of fact, I may, I may try to find those feet for my own uh, demos here in the office. Um... But yeah, look at that graphic. That is beautiful. Well done. And what do we have here? So aside from the actual PLC system itself, we have, um, looks like we got four push buttons and a slider, zero to 10 volts. Okay, as well as a QR code. So if we can get more information and this must be for power. You know, we never did open up the power supply. Okay, yeah. So put this under here. That's a that's actually a really nice power supply. So I really don't need the international because I don't travel. Not a lot of people doing travel these days, but still. Um, we will be able to plug that in. All right, getting the right connector out of here. This is something I didn't know. Mean Mel. I, I know they make regular power supplies. I didn't know. 
they made power supplies like this so very cool very cool indeed that would go in there we're good to go i'll be protected on the back i uh, got some open wires there so well it's only 24 volts dc so not a big deal but still okay so we're not going to plug it in right now do you want to take a look at the plc now like what did we actually get for the plc and io here let's take a really close look okay i may even go in closer okay so you can see the controller here right that is an axcf 2152 and again this unit programs with plc next engineer not PC works okay so if you've used uh, Phoenix contact in the past you got to know that you can see we got a uh, SD card slot and uh, other things you can see it's pointing up that just slides out of there and then if we look down here at the bottom we can see that we have two ethernet ports dueling ethernet it's hard sometimes to get the lights to go down into the ports there to make them visible okay so over here on the io let's see what we have here we have a digital output 16 points this looks like a filler module okay over here we have a digital input 16 points these are both uh, 24 volts dc and you can see those four buttons look like they're wired into here to the first four inputs okay and then we have an analog input four point i believe this is zero to ten volt based on the package description and that uh, brings another point out here. This is a actually a four slot uh, chassis or rack. So you have those four modules plugged in there. Okay. So we can see it right there. The AXLF looks like a BPSE4. Okay. And that's also where we have uh, power coming in. Let's see if we can take a look down there. Looks like we have A1, A2 and b1 b2 so plus and minus excellent so that is everything that comes in the plc next starter pack not um too complicated it's already assembled for us ready to go and all that together according to some online retailers will cost you about 500 dollars us which seems like a great value. And I want to thank the folks over at Phoenix Contact for sending in um, this starter kit so we can use it on the show. And I can't wait to get into PLC Next Engineer and write my first Phoenix Contact PLC program. But with that said, uh, that wraps up this first look at the PLC Next starter pack. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please give us a like and a sub. And until next time, my friends, peace.